A six metre length of concrete coated 36 inch pipeline arrives at the National Hyperbaric Centre in Aberdeen. It has come from CRP in Lancashire, the world leaders in syntactic foam buoyancy for the offshore industry. Accompanying the pipe is a one ton buoyancy module designed to be remotely released from a pipeline by an ROV. The trials at the National Hyperbaric Centre are to test the behaviour of the buoyancy module and its release by an ROV. Contractors EMC commissioned CRP to design and build a buoyancy module for use on their pipe laying operations for Shell Norsky in the Norwegian Trench. The massive pipe was likely to produce very large top tensions during deployment from the barge Castello 6 and the buoyancy will be applied to the pipeline to reduce in water weight and therefore reduce the top tensions. The job site is in 340 meters of water, too great a depth to allow saturation diving in Norwegian waters. By designing the module to allow easy release by an ROV deployed from a survey vessel, the vessels will be recovered by a supply boat and returned to the barge for reuse. A total of 135 modules will be used. The trials will feature four individual tests with the same preparation. First, the module is attached to the pipe section. The pair are then lifted to the tank and submerged. The ROV intervenes and cuts the threaded rod holding the module to the pipe. The buoyancy rises to the surface. It's then recovered and the pipe is brought to the surface to be prepared for the next test. The module is attached to the pipe with a sling connected to two stub-ended threaded bars. These bars attach the steelwork between the two foam halves of the buoyancy module. They are tightened with a torque wrench. The ROV is lowered into the tank and the pipeline and module unit is hoisted to the tank. Offshore, two modules will be attached to each 12 meter section of pipe. With the unit submerged, the ROV glides towards the center of the buoyancy module. The ROV has a cutting tool connected to a hydraulic ram to cut the threaded rod that holds the module to the pipe. The cutter spins, driven by hydraulic power, and cuts into the rod. Once cut, the module will float off and burst to the surface of the tank. The test is repeated with the module inclined on the pipe. Then it is tested with the sling trapped below the pipe. Finally, the pipe is deliberately inclined by placing one end on a tall pedestal. All the tests go smoothly. CRP will advance to the production phase of their 500,000 pound contract. The ROV buoyancy module will be added to CRP's impressive list of marine products, increasing the options available to the offshore industry.